Hey, welcome back to Integration. We just finished chatting with Lisa and Jane about our journey in Kenya. And right now we're gonna check out Afro Delhi and what it has to offer because you know what I love is discovering joints of food places that are practical, simple, and delicious, but still Somali. So let's go check it out. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you? Good. Awesome. Should you say welcome to Afro Delhi in, in English, Spanish, Somali, what? I joined in English most <laughs> of the time. <laughs> Great. So, um, guys, I just want to introduce you to the owner and the Somali entrepreneur who's making things happen in Minneapolis with having two locations of Afro Delhi. Let's meet Abdurrahman Kahane. How are you, Salam? Alaikum Salam. Uh, thank you, Hodan, for coming and uh, welcome to Afro Delhi. Gosh, I'm so excited. So, uh, Lisa and Jane are waiting to try some of the food. So, should we get like Take the food there and you can tell us about yes, it. Yes, yes, so let's go. You know, we okay. got some uh, cool. amazing food, you know. Oh my God, this looks like my favorite, which is like the steak. Yep, let steak me help you. Yeah, yep, okay. this is steak sandwich right here. So, right here. All right. Wow. So wow. I wanted to explain, yes. you know, what yes. the food is. Uh, this is must have. It's called sambuses. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. That was one of the Yep. Yes, yep. We love it. There you go. So we have a uh, beef sambusa right here, okay. uh, veggie sambusa, okay. and a chicken sambusa. Wonderful. I love how you have the different colors. Yep, it's color coded. Yeah. It's color coded, it's so color people coded. Know, yep. <laughs> it's people to understand. It's color coded sambusa. That yes. I see. There you go. And then we have uh, the Som the famous Somali steak sandwich. Oh yeah. This is the best seller. Uh, it good. has a uh, like you know Somali spices. Yeah. With the uh, Wisconsin cheese, Wisconsin and uh, cheese? yep, and Italian bread. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, it's kind of an international. It's kind of international. <laughs> and then we have here, uh, if you can unwrap it, this is the chapati. This is ah, sabaya. Sabaya. You guys yes. had this in uh, Kenya. Yes. The chapati bread. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah. This is now the version yeah. here. Yeah. Yeah. You, yeah. You can unwrap if you like to see what how it look like. This is the Somali burrito. Somali burrito, you know the oh, burrito. burrito. Yep. Yeah. Oh, Somali. Yeah. Oh wow. Oh, oh wow. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Sabati. Yeah. Sabayat, and we call it sabayat or kibis. This is yeah. a modernized sabayat or kibis. Yep. <laughs> I love it. Yep. And you guys had the Somali tea too, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah very spicy, sweet. Yeah. They were asking yep. about the. Can, can they have milk with it sometimes? Yes. You okay. can have milk. So you have yep. to ask yep. for milk. Yep. 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 You have to ask for milk. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yep. <laughs> Sambusas caused me the most confusion. So I'm like, is it tuna? Is it have hot sauce? Now this is like simple. Yep. So this is the uh, the, the the latest version. Yeah. Uh, it has a lentil. 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 Oh, wow. Yes. And spinach. The oh, rub wow. is spinach. Oh wow. So it's so it's hundred percent vegetarian. Go yeah. ahead. Are you sure? Uh, you tell no, me. No pressure. No uh, pressure to try the hot sauce. We, we <laughs> made sure it's uh, Minnesota spicy. Yeah. <laughs> so it's acceptable. So spicy. I, I felt like a peer pressure on Jane right yeah. now. Norwich, <laughs> Norwegian, Norwegian is spicy. Norwe <laughs> Jane, there's no peer pressure to try no. the hot sauce. No, none. None at all. Let me get some water. Okay. Just in case. We need, we need hot water? Does it smell spicy? No, a little bit. Jane is so scared. This is what I love. Casual concept, no pressure. Yes. You can actually enjoy Somali food without being complicated. Yes. You know? Okay, so let's dive in. Okay. Which one are you gonna go for first? Uh, the lentil? I'm gonna I think I'm gonna do the I'm veggie. Gonna try the beef. Because I haven't had the veggie. This before. is cool. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna try, try this. this. I'll go with the darkest sambusa. Mm. Mm. So the darkest one, here we go. Oh, and I'm actually gonna she's getting the hot sauce. Oh, yeah. Good. So this is <laughs> There's a hat. Should I, should I tell people how to eat a sambusa? First, you take a bite. Is it hot? <laughs> oh my god, Jane! Drink the water! <laughs> I'll probably pass on it. Okay. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Minnesota spice? <laughs> Norwegian? Yeah, I don't think so. <laughs> so. I usually like to take a bite first. Mm -hmm. And then... Mm -hmm. And then dip it. Yeah. Then you get the then you get the hot sauce inside of it. And sometimes we we pour it in. <laughs> yeah. See how we pour it in, guys? 
and that's they hot. That was my problem. <laughs> <laughs> pour it in there. No, no don't pour it in. <laughs> but if, if you want to <laughs> save on, like, sometimes it's hard to dip. So I usually just pour it in. I know it's tacky to some people, but this is my recipe, guys, of life. <laughs> I dip in everything, okay? It's good. Mm. How is that? Chicken. Even with all that spice? Mm. It's so good. Oh. Sambusa and no, spices personally. go together. Mm. Yeah, it, no, it has a, a cilantro in it. it is. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sorry, guys, I'm a hot sauce lover only when it comes to sambusas. You put that on there, though, you yeah. can't taste the It just goes together. Yeah. <laughs> the what? If you put all that on there, you can't taste the sambusa. But that's the point. Give oh. that tingling feeling on your yeah, tongue. But and these you... are so good. They're so good, yeah. yeah. Without the spices, it's good too. They're very good. Mm. Yeah. This is delicious. Yeah. Mm. And then you're playing yeah. Somali music. Yes. Mm. Uh, my favorite singer, Awale. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Awale Djibouti. Yes. Yeah. He listens to a song with him. But he has a I mean, yeah. he has a cover yet. He hits it with uh, everybody. You know, he sang with everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I wanted to explain why we call Somali steak sandwich. It's inspired by the Philly steak sandwich. The Philly steak sandwich. Okay. Yeah. It's just like a simple Philadelphia steak sandwich. So we call it Somali steak sandwich. Does it have Norwegian spice on it? A little bit. A little bit. Because this is, you know, if you live in Minnesota, you need some kick, you know. Yeah. So you. You ready? You go ahead. Okay. You start. Okay. See how much Somali spices in there. <laughs> okay. There's a little kick. Yep. That's a little kick. There's a little kick. But not like a... Not like no, that it's kick. good. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's very good. Yeah. I was just I was just live tweeting uh, our experience here and it's so amazing that like social media is connecting, you know, all of us to come yep. from different cultures exactly. to enjoy food. Yep. Food brings yep. people together. Exactly. Yes, I agree. Yeah. I love food. Yeah. What made you decide to use more small inspired food? Uh, because uh, food industry is very diverse. It's either Italian, Greek, or Middle Eastern. So the East African or the Somali uh, cuisine was missing. So that's why I came up with, you know, Somali-inspired cuisine. And you know, it's not different than uh, Mexican food or Italian food. It's a really good food. You just need to package and present in a way that everybody can understand. Yes, we need to modernize Somali food. Exactly. Make it like hip and cool and fun. And it is. Yeah. Look at the sambusas. Like yeah. honestly, like I need a color coded sambusas in my life. There you go. You <laughs> have it now. Color coded sambusas. You yeah. have sambusas in many different cultures. Yes. yes. It may not be called that, yeah. but they are. They're but Somalis, they really make with love. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everywhere they go, they have they make the best sambusas. That's right. Whether in Europe, in Asia, or here in the yeah. in North in America, the, yeah, they're the best. They the, they're always the best. And the tea too. Oh yeah. The, oh. the spicy tea. There's you know, no argument yeah. on that one. Yeah. And guess what, guys? You know, um, while we're eating, mm -hmm. um, I'm Instagram live right now. Hundreds yes. of my followers are watching us. Also. Nice. We just did a Facebook live earlier, but this is why I love combining all kinds of social media together. So guys, welcome to our Instagram live. <laughs> oh, now this is Instagram. Yeah, She's the queen <laughs> of the social media. Yeah. This is life, guys. So, so on Instagram, they love seeing food. So I just thought, while you guys are talking, I have to show you food. Yeah. But I want to thank you so much for joining us, you know, having us come here and enjoy this. It's nice to catch up with old friends. And yep. <laughs> it's so good. good. And enjoy good food. Yep, it's all about food. Look at, go dance, go, go. <laughs> Check, Chapa. check them out dancing. Is the okay, Karen ready? Dance my Instagram, but dance more. They love it. Mm, it's got a beat. Yeah. That's right. Right there. <laughs> the cool. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, this one is a. Uh... There we go. <laughs> People are joining me. They're laughing. Oh my god. They're. <laughs> Do you see how many hearts you guys are getting? Oh, we love hearts. Oh. My heart 
Oh, it's so good. <laughs> I can't believe it. They're loving it. Okay, guys, thank you so much for joining me live on Instagram. And don't forget, if you're in Minneapolis, you can check out Afro We Jelly. have one more oh item. What it's is that? called Chicken Fantastic. Chicken, Chicken Fantastic. Okay. Yes. Wow. I love the name. <laughs> yep. So, this is a Could you not like that? Parmesan cheese with grilled chicken, fresh vegetables, and the famous Somali rice. Oh, wow. Wow. How is yep. Basmati? 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 But it has a it has a cardamom, it has a ginger, oh, it has a cinnamon. Ginger. So it's got so many spices. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. This is amazing. So yeah. ladies, uh, what is your view of Somali casual food today? Love it. Like, I love it in Africa. I will come. Love it here. Yep. I will be back. Yes. Yes. Thank you. I'll be back. I'll tell all my friends. <laughs> Yep. yep. Come here. If you're in Minneapolis. This is the destination. Yep. Right across from the U of M. Yeah, I love it. Yep. Come. Delicious. This is delicious. All right, guys. So we're live on Instagram and live in real life on YouTube. Look, he's on his Facebook. <laughs> I'm on my Instagram. This is what I'm talking about. So yes. My social media. Never social media. <laughs> yep. <laughs> connected. Be connected. <laughs> So thank you so much for joining me on Integration TV live from Minneapolis and the Afro Deli fast, efficient, and beautiful inspired Somali food in a nice environment. Thank you very much for yeah. that. You know, advertisement, and publicity. <laughs> you made it. No, you, know, you make us famous today. Hey, you know what? Good food should be shared. Just like good yep. people should be shared. Right? Thank you. Yeah. So thank you ladies too for uh, from Kenya yeah. to uh, <laughs> Minneapolis. Yeah. We're here together again. What a blessing. She's so unbelievable. So uh, I'm gonna thank you so much for I think you know I'm yes. I'm very humble and honored, you know, to have you here at that for Thank you so much. It's a uh, really you know from my heart. It's, uh, it's been like a great pleasure. Thank you. Uh, thank you yeah. so much. Guys, you've been watching Integration TV live from Minneapolis where we share inspired and successful Somalis around the world. This is Integration.